Hey guys, I promised you guys I would give you a quick update on how I recovered from my trading session. Guess what? Sometimes the trades don't go in your favor. Sometimes you end up taking a loss, but the key is how do you recover from that loss, right? And that is ultimately what separates a beginner trader to maybe more experienced trader is their ability or confidence that they have in the in, in fixing their trades. So I wanted to kind of show you how I got into this mess. If you look here, on, this is just a recording from today's trading session. I was thinking that it was going to bounce. Obviously, I was thinking it was going to bounce or it wouldn't have been in um, the trades that I that I was in, right? And so um, I started stacking into buys right here. Started stacking into a buy layer um, and as it went against me, I bought in. Now, what you don't expect or what I want to explain is that the market structure and price action normally says that if it if it builds this high, it's not just going to come smacking down and ignore it. Ignored this action point. It ignored this action point, um, and so I felt conf confident in building into some buys for a retest of this area right into here, or fifty percent of this overall move right there. And so that's what I was looking for. That's what I was expecting. It didn't happen. Guess what? In trading, it's never one hundred percent correct. You're never going to win every single time. So you got to have a plan B, right? My plan A was we were going to get this bounce. So what happened, I'm just going to fast forward this just a minute, just to show you how I got into this little, little predicament here. So what happened is it kind of ignored price um, behavior. I thought, okay, here we go. We're going to get that bounce. It didn't bounce and it just continued to run down, right? So I'm just fast forwarding this really quick. It continued to run down. You ran all the way down. Um, and I'm like, okay, may, well, maybe here, maybe here it's going to turn, right? And I'm expecting the turn because we're more than three price cycles away. I'm in all these trades right here. I'm down one, um, almost 2% into my account, right? I'm down one and a half to 2%. And I just take all the trades. Basically, I close out of everything because it broke this and it's like, OK, it ran down, it broke down, it's going to break again and it's going to run. All right. So sitting at negative 1.95 percent, almost 2 percent. So 2 percent negative. Um, and how do you recover? Right. And I knew that during my trading session with you guys on, I was not going to be able to recover. So I said, hey, I'm going to do a quick video showing you guys exactly how I ended up recovering. So if you jump over here um, into Alvio and I'm going to plot my trades really quick. All right, I just got Alvio pulled up, and here is my um, risk. My my plotted my trades from this morning to kind of show you a little bit of how I recovered on those trades. So if you'll if you'll see here, um, I was down one point nine five percent in my account. So I'm down one point nine five percent. We'll just call it two percent. Down two percent of my account, and um, I need to recover. So how do you do that? Well, once you realize that you're in a recovery mode or fix it mode, you're no longer in normal mode. You're no longer normal trading to try and you know stack profits to try and build into a, a a profitable position. Now you're kind of in a recovery and trade mode. Now I want to preface everything that I say here by saying that um, the thing that you, the most or the best thing that you could do is step away for a minute. When you need to recover from a bad situation, step away for a minute, right? Step away and don't trade because the moment that you trade on top of a bad situation, you tend to, to, to make a bad situation worse by getting into revenge trades. And that's a whole other video, whole other topic of conversation right now. I just want to show you a little bit about what I did to recover. So yes, I stepped away, um, went and came back and I was looking for high probability trade setups. So that's what you need is high probability trade setups. Now, again, you're okay to go a little bit heavier and high probability trade setups as long as you know how to fix your trades you don't know how to fix your trades you're not a level two um you're not a level two wobbler then you need to then you need to practice this you know get into a demo account and practice this because you should not be executing um or putting on heavier trades on high probability trade setups unless you know how to fix your trades. The key is also, if it doesn't pan out, you get out. So first rule, if it doesn't materialize, doesn't pan out, you get out. And you don't let 
Um, you don't let those high probability trade setups even make your situation worse. All right. So what I was looking at was we had this downturn. We had the downturn in the market, right? I mean, that's what it was doing, just following that continuation. So I was looking for a attempt to go higher and a fault and a, and a, and a, and a failed attempt. So I was looking for this failed attempt right here to go higher. And that's where I got in. Um, that's where my, my entry was right. And again, I had, I went a little heavy on this entry, but I left some trades on. So I didn't max out my position size in case it does come up and touch here. I wanted to be able to put two layers on right there. Right. So I wanted to have two layers on right here. So here's my entry right here. And as soon as it crossed over this, as soon as it crossed over this, I secured my trades with a um, stop loss here. So I put my stop loss right above here thinking, okay, if it does come up and break this, I don't want to lose any of that profit for a, a, a chance at the attempt high. So I secured my trades with the stop loss there. And now with a secured trade on, I was able to maximize or go in into another heavy position because I wasn't going to lose on this first position stack, right? So now I'm in this position. I got, I'm looking for another failed attempt. I'm going to clear all this right. I'm looking for another failed attempt, which is right here. And I stacked in again for a ride down, right? What I did do is on this candle, um, uh, I looked for the wick. It pulled back 50% of that candle. So if it pulls back 50% of that candle, I knew that there was a good chance that it would continue to go the other direction, particularly if this candle was green, right? Or moved up. So that's where I exited out and I immediately flipped into some buys for an opportunity to um, ride the wave. Um, I got out right here on this pull down. This was just a short little buy, but it was a heavy stack again um, for two, three pips. Um, sometimes I'll do that where I'll just go for a quick wins, but I'll get in heavy um, because the confidence there is just for a quick win. Um, and then I was able to build in uh, to more trades down the line. Um, ended up turning negative 2% into positive one and a half or 1.6%. Um, so um, on the day. So that's a little bit about how I recovered from the day. I looked for high probability trade setups. I looked for a felt to, to go higher and I got in with a little bit heavier position size. I never did exceed what my risk management rules were. And remember, you you have you have those trades there for fix it mode. And so practice this. If you guys ever get yourself into a situation, practice this right? Looking for that. Now, I would have gotten out of these trades if it broke here. So that's my exit point. Um, on these secured trades, obviously, I had, I would have been, I would have took profit here um, and got out. And on this layer, I probably would have held for it to break above here and got out of that layer, um, as well as, and then kind of broke even on this attempt, right? And so that's when you want to ride the wave right there. All right. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that, that, that kind of shows a little bit of what we did today. And um, yeah, look forward to seeing you in the AM. Thanks guys. And we'll see you uh, in our trade.